Give me two minutes and I'll let you know what's going on at Unitarian Universalists of San Mateo. I'm Jack Brennan, UUSM Connections. Today's Tuesday, June 11th. Happy Pride Month. This Sunday is our annual music festival. The UUSM Choir will punctuate its current season with reprises of many of its favorite songs from the past year. In addition, Jeremy is excited to share his reflections on what he's learned about the intersection of music and ministry after one year of music directing at UUSM. On Friday at 8 p.m., we welcome singer-songwriter Roy Zimmerman back to UUSM. Roy writes funny, socially conscious songs, which he's performed for more than 30 years, bringing laughter and encouragement to progressive-minded people across the nation. Sing, laugh, defend democracy. Tickets are $25 or whatever you can pay, and I hope to see you there. Before the concert, there's time to drop by our favorite author, Steve Latner's reading at 6 p.m. at Feldman's Books in downtown Menlo Park. The UUSM Connections podcast dropped a new Respect the Connect episode this week. My guest is Karen Collins, and she discusses how soccer helped shape her life and how she helped to shape soccer. It's an inspiring listen. Be sure to read more about our flea market in the weekly bulletin. The information sheet is especially informative in terms of what we can and cannot use for the flea market. Please start bringing your stuff to church on Sundays or arrange with Kelly to meet you at UUSM during the week. We're gathering a lot of cool things. Kelly's going to need a ton of help to set up and break down the flea market, plus help with pricing and running it on June 29th. Please help us make this restart of an old tradition a success. Tell your friends about it. For our one just thing this week, exciting news. We've just heard from Uli, our Philippines Partner Congregation that 10 new students have been added to the Education Partner Program. Six of them still need sponsors. A small stipend creates a huge impact. If you'd like to make a difference in the life of a child, please contact Carol Cook or Lori Fox. I'll see you next week, if you'll give me two minutes.